Hi there guys, my name is Ryan and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the backdrop with some amazing digital backgrounds that I've created. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and first thing first that we are going to do is that we need to duplicate the background. So just drag and drop this to the plus twice. And now we want to divide the subject from the backdrop or the background. So we need to click here on the window and click here that says contextual taskbar. And here we have the select subject and remove background. So I'm just going to click here on the select subject because I want to refine the hair around it. Wait until the selection is done. Now click here and click select and mask. So as you can see, we are in the selection of the mask. I'm going to zoom in. And with a brush, I'm going to bring back the hair because I want to refine it with my own brush. So just paint it around the flyaway hair, just like this. And here we have uh, the backdrop or the background again. Now click here on the refine edge brush and just paint it around the hair. And you will see that uh, backdrop or the background, it will be removed just like this. We want it to look more professional, so I'm just gonna click here, and I think that is okay. Now that is done, just click OK, and zoom out, and click here on the layer mask, and the backdrop will be automatically uh, removed. So here we have a before and after, and now you have to zoom in, and if you to see if you have uh, removed some here, for example here, we need to bring it back, so I'm just gonna click here on the brush, and with a white brush, I'm just going to paint it here on the layer mask to bring it back just like this. You have to check other spots if you have uh, removed the color of the subject. And I think that is OK. Now I'm going to click here on the digital backdrop. I'm going to click here on the move tool and I'm just going to move it to the original uh, window so I'm just gonna make it larger until I think that it fits the photography perfectly we have to match it uh, to look like more realistic and I think that I, well, we need to make it just a little bigger something like this and I think that here will be okay just like this now we need to drag and drop this background copy uh, on top of this uh, digital backdrop and here we have the layer mask uh, sorry here we have the blending mode that is normal so we have to switch it from normal to multiply in that case we will see some shadows so i'm just gonna zoom in here and here we have some shadows and as you can see uh, in the multiply it will it's affecting uh, the digital backdrop so we need to remove that uh, kind of low exposure and i'm just gonna Create here a layer mask and uh, click here on the gradient tool and I'm just gonna drag an, an another line here remove that so we need to click reverse here in case that uh, we have the gradient map on top so here you have a before and after and I think that is looking okay now as you can see a before and after what we've done so far it's looking good but we still have some uh, under exposed uh, por uh, photography for example here because of the background copy which is multiply and it's affecting this part so we need to click here and click here now click uh, on the curves and increase the brightness just a little and we need that layer mask to be totally black because we will paint it only this part so uh, control and i to make it the layer mask into black now click b for brush and just paint here to bring back that uh, highlight just like this and uh, i think that is matching the photography and as you can see we have the same exposure on that digital backdrop and i think that is looking okay now we need to drag and drop this to the plus to make another copy in case we make a mistake so we'll make some changes later now we need to make uh, this uh, photography to look more realistic and we need to add some depth of field. So I'm just going to add some blur into this uh, digital backdrop. So I'm going to click here on the filter 
and click blur gallery and i will choose a uh, tilt shift so i'm just gonna drag and drop this uh, on the bottom just like this to make it look like uh, it's been taken with a professional camera and here we have the blur we can increase this and uh, it will be like too much so we need to find like a middle of that and i think that for this uh, photography i think that 50 percent will be enough you can even uh, light add some bokeh into this uh, photography and it will look more realistic now if you think that is okay and the tilt shift is kind of into the perfect position we need to click ok and wait until it's done so here we have a digital background uh, that is looking more realistic and if you think that is not uh, matching it you can just uh, transform this and make it larger maybe or smaller depends on the portrait that you're working but i think that uh, this one is kind of too good for this and i think that i'm gonna move it but i think that it, i will leave it as it is so as you can see a before and after what we've done so far into this portrait you can even zoom in and here we have the refined hair which is looking perfectly now uh, what we need to do into this uh, amazing work we need to color grade this so to color grade we need for example to match the subject with a background and uh, for example if you want to add some uh, different colors or different lights into the subject you just need to click here and add some adjustments for example i'm gonna click here on the color balance and i'm gonna add just a little of the red and a little of the yellow and as you can see it's affecting entire uh, both of them the digital backdrop and the subject so you need to right click and click here that says create clipping mask and here we have that thing only on the subject so 100% of this is kind of too much so I'm just gonna lower it just a little and make it look more realistic now I'm gonna click here on the digital backdrop and I'm gonna add some uh, color balance to this one so I think that I will put it just a little into the red and a little into the yellow to make it look like more realistic just like this decrease the opacity of this one now check it before and after which is looking okay now I'm gonna click here on the curves and decrease the highlights so I will create uh, a gradient map with a round and just paint it just like this to make it look more realistic like the the light is coming from the left of this one so here we have a before and after which is kind of too much for my opinion because uh, it's making uh, the subject look too dark so i'm just gonna decrease the opacity by 75 percent and uh, 25 is okay now i'm gonna click here on the color balance and i'm gonna play it just a little to make this uh, whole photography more realistic and I'm just gonna add some adjustments here and there to make it look like more realistic and uh, I think that I'm gonna add some lots here and I think that this lot uh, I have created before is looking okay so I'm just gonna decrease the opacity of this one maybe 30% will be enough I'll check it before and after and i think that is looking okay and if you think that the backdrop or the digital background is looking kind of too exposed you can just click here and click on the exposure and just decrease the exposure just a little to make it look more realistic and again i'm gonna create a, a gradient map here to make it look more real just like this one and i think that is looking okay decrease it just a little and reverse because it's affecting the other parts so this one is looking okay now click here again click on the selective color choose uh, for example the reds play with the yellows until you think that color grade is looking okay for your for uh, for your photography just like this increase the whites play with them you can play with whatever color grade you want until uh, you think that the portrait 
or the photography is okay and i think that we are good for the moment like this decrease the opacity and just make a group and rename this color grade so here we have a before and here we have a after here we have before and here is after i'm gonna zoom in you want to see a before and after closely and i think that is looking okay so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find this amazing raw file and you will find uh, all my uh, digital backdrops that i have created link is in the description and you can find them on my etsy account and see you guys in the next one peace